Konnichiwa. Welcome to Mrs. Lin's kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make Japanese beef croquette. Japanese croquette is like a fried uh, mashed potato filled with ground beef, chicken, pork, or veggies such as mint, onions, carrots, green peas, or sometimes even cheese. It is a popular snack in Japan and you can often find it in the supermarket or specialty restaurant serving croquette. The main ingredients in this dish is the potato, but you can substitute it with kabocha, which is a Japanese pumpkin squash. So let's get started. Here is the ingredients overview. You may substitute the potatoes with kabocha if you desire. These ingredients are also for the classic ground beef Japanese croquet, but you can experiment with your own fillings as well. For the dipping sauce, you may simply use pre-made tonkatsu sauce, ketchup, or try our own recipe for tonkatsu style sauce. Start by boiling the potatoes or the kabocha until they are soft. While it's boiling, prepare the ingredients that will be placed inside the potato diced carrots and onions. Then prepare your wok to saute them. Coat your wok with oil and add in the onions first. Stir for a few minutes, then add the one half pound of ground beef. Stir frequently until brown, then you can add the diced carrots and one half cup of corn to the wok. Add a pinch of salt and pepper to taste. Stir frequently again until all vegetables are all cooked. For a different, more fragrant taste, you can also add some curry powder as well. By this time, the potatoes should be all soft and ready for mashing. Mash your potatoes, then add in a small portion of the sautéed mixture you have prepared. Mix evenly together until it's ready to be formed into small patties. Pour a palm-sized amount and mold it into a patty with your hands. You will want to make sure it's nice and tight so it will not fall apart later on. You will notice that we also have a more yellow tint patty, which is our sautéed mixture with curry powder in it. Once your patties have been made, you will now need to prepare them for the panko or Japanese style breadcrumbs. Begin by coating the patty in cornstarch. Be sure to entirely coat it as well. Once coated, coat in a mixture of egg white and egg yolk. After you are finished, spread and coat panko all over the patty. Follow these steps for the rest of your patties to prepare them for deep frying. Prepare your wok with cooking oil and remember to place your frying rack on top as well. Once the frying oil is ready, carefully place in the croquet patties. You will want to frequently move these around to ensure that they will not stick to each other or the pan. Continue frying until the croquets are nice golden brown. Once ready, place on your frying rack to cool and allow excess oil to drip off of it. Allow to dry and then they're all done! To make Mrs. Lin's kitchen style tonkatsu sauce, pour in one third cup of ketchup, one tablespoon of sugar, one and a half teaspoon of freshly minced ginger, one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 teaspoon of mirin, 
one teaspoon of soy sauce, and two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Combine and mix together and adjust to your liking. In our bowls with lid, you can also store the sauce for later. I have made three different kind of croquette. The regular flavor, the one with the curry flavor, and this one is made of the kapocha um, pumpkin. But you can experiment any other ingredients you like. I hope you enjoy watching me how to make a Japanese croquette. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And happy eating!